Hey guys, it's Matt at Rough House Studios, and welcome to the Blazing Gear review of the FlowerMate Mini V5.0 S. First, I'd like to thank the guys over at wizardpuff.com for sending us the Flower Mate Mini that we're reviewing today. If you'd like to learn more or to purchase one, please follow the bit.ly on the screen or in the description. Now let's get started. The Flower Mate Mini is packed nicely inside of a well-designed gift box. The glass mouthpiece is contained in the bottom. And including the unit itself, you also get a full detailed instruction manual, a USB charger, cleaning tools, and additional screens. About the same length as a Bic lighter, the FlowerMate Mini is just that, it's mini. It also is charged by USB Mini on the bottom, but it has a full-size USB power out on the top that you could use to charge your own devices. That's a nice feature. And the USB, of course, charges with pretty much any device that uses USB. So first we're going to grind up some marijuana nice and fine so that we can do our review while our device charges fully. And you'll know when your device is charged fully because the light goes from red to green as the battery indicator light is full. Like its predecessor, the FlowerMate V5OS, the FlowerMate Mini is really simple to use. The top slides open to reveal the ceramic baking chamber, which is packed easily with the marijuana. Then the glass mouthpiece slides in the top and the unit is powered on with five clicks of the button. There are three power settings, 385, 400, and 415 degrees Fahrenheit. The device blinks until the temperature is reached and then it is a solid light. The puffs at the high setting are big, full puffs that can vary to the harsh side, but you do get big puffs. As you lower the heat of the device, you'll find that the flavor gets cooler and cooler and the puffs get a little smaller. But overall, it does a really good job and has a good flavor of vaporizing the marijuana. One drawback is that you can only use it for marijuana flowers. It would be simple to add a wax cup and I would like to see Flower Mate do that, but so far it's only used for marijuana. But when it comes to vaporizing the marijuana, the quality of the vaporized weed is pretty much as good as you can want it to be. It never scorches the marijuana and rarely leaves any unvaporized marijuana left in the chamber. The color is mostly consistent and is a nice nutty brown that you want with your vaporized marijuana. We did have some problems with the lid repeatedly falling off the top of the Flower Mate. But the Flower Mate Mini is as stealthy and small as you could want a vaporizer to be, but offers big flavorful puffs and excellent vape quality. The price is a little higher than some other devices with more features, and there's some quality issues with non-essential parts, but overall the Flower Mate Mini is a fine little portable vaporizer. We give it four stars. Again, we'd like to thank the guys over at Wizard Puff for sending out the Flower Mate Mini that we reviewed today. Please check out the bit.ly in the description to learn more about the device or to buy one. So I hope you enjoyed this Blazing Gear review of the Flower Mate Mini. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Rough House Studios for more Cadmus Culture videos you're sure to enjoy.